Hey, what's going on? This video is going to help you improve your ball control. I'm going to start by showing you a bunch of drills that you can use, then I'm going to give you a workout routine, and I'm going to finish by telling you three reasons why most players will never improve their ball control. Hope you enjoy the video.
before I give you your homework and send you on your way to improve your ball control, we have to talk about the three main reasons why most players will never improve their ball control. Number one, they're just lazy. They're all talk and no walk. They say how much they wanna improve their ball control. They watch this video, they say, this is great, I'm gonna start doing this. And then they wake up tomorrow and they sit on the couch, they play video games, they don't put in the time. So there is no shortcut around putting in time with the ball. I wasn't born with a good touch. I've spent hours, thousands, tens of thousands of hours with the ball at my feet, juggling, dribbling, working on my skills. That's why my touch is good. So if you wanna improve your ball control, you have to put in the work. Catch yourself being lazy and do not allow it. Number two, frustration. People get frustrated when they're trying to do new skills, when they're practicing, and they can't do exactly what they want. So they get frustrated and they give up. They start getting negative, they start talking poorly, they start talking negatively to themselves in their mind, and then their whole training goes out the window. So they have no control of their emotions. Guess what, everyone gets frustrated. I get frustrated, but I know how to control my emotions and I take responsibility for my emotions. If you cannot take responsibility for your emotions, whether those are frustration, anger, hatred, whatever they may be, all those negative emotions, they're gonna pop up. You have to learn how to control them and if you can control your frustration every time you have a bad touch or the drill isn't going the way you want, you just stay positive with yourself, you tell yourself, hey, I can do this, I'm just gonna stick with it, I'm gonna keep pushing, I don't care how long this takes, I can do this and I'm gonna make it happen. So you have to control your frustration. And three, there is no analysis. They don't ask why. When they have a bad touch, they don't ask why, they just get upset. This goes back to frustration. So when you have bad touches, you have to ask yourself, why was that a bad touch? Where did it touch my foot? Where did the ball touch my foot? What was my technique? Why did it go over there? Why didn't it stay under my control? What do I need to do differently? So when you have bad touches, it's so important that you actually analyze them and you try that touch right away. So if I tried a specific touch, let's say for example, I was putting the ball up in the air and doing a Cruyff turn and I didn't get it right. I'm not just gonna move on to something else that's easier, something that I'm better at. I'm gonna do that one skill again and again and I'm gonna analyze that touch each time until I get it perfectly. And that's how I'm gonna improve my ball control. So those are three reasons why most players never improve and those are also three reasons why you are going to improve. So here's your workout routine. As you uh, saw in the video, I showed you all the clips. You can watch this again if you need a guideline. You can take a screenshot of this so you have the workout. Now it's time to put in the work. And don't talk about becoming better. Actually be about becoming better. Remember, stay positive and control your frustration. Control your negative emotions. Analyze your bad touches and fix them. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please remember to give me a like. Share this video with your friends and teammates, especially someone that you think is really gonna benefit and they're actually gonna put this to use. They're actually gonna put this and use this to become a better player. Comment below if you have any questions and come back tomorrow for another training video. I'll talk to you real soon.